Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today I'm going to show you how to make some lollipop holders. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun, super cute for Halloween. Um, but before we get started, if you haven't subscribed already, please do. I totally appreciate all the support that I can get. All right, did you guys know? Well, you know, my favorite glue is Barely Art for all my cardstock projects. Um, but did you know that on their website, they actually have free SVG files? So the one that we're going to be looking at, so you're going to go into products and go to uh, see all SVG files. And I don't know if I can actually search for it, but let's see if we can find it. It's actually the, it's a boba. Oh, it is there. So <laughs> I thought it would be cute. Um, it is the boba SVG file. So a treat within a treat. So what you wanna do is you, well, they're free, but you have to add it to your cart and then you need to check out. And when you check out, um, it's not gonna charge you anything, but then you can download your file. So I've already downloaded it, but I haven't uploaded it to Design Space. So let's go and do that now. So I'm gonna go uh, upload, upload image, and I'm gonna find my boba SVG file, <laughs> which is in my downloads, I believe. Yeah, there it is. So my Barely Art Bouncing Boba, um, double click on it, and boba i'm good now this name up here this this has a lot on there so and it's totally fine i feel like you can do more um more is better than less because this is if i search for bouncing boba boba barely art it's all going to come up anything that you upload into design space will be found or will be housed basically in the image library with all the other images that design space offers um your you know the ones that are free through your cricut access subscription or well <laughs> included in your subscription right and then there's some free files completely free um some with your access subscription and then others that you can buy so that's where all your uploaded images will be so uh you want to make sure that you name it something that you can actually find in the future because you're not going to remember if it's just svg number one for instance and there's like hundreds of thousands of images in there so you do want to make sure that you name it uh something that you can remember all right so that's all i'm going to say there let's go and upload this file and let's see what we have. I actually, I just thought it was cute and kind of funny because it's a treat. <laughs> then I'm gonna stick a treat behind it. So let's see. So it looks like, it looks like this part is clear. There's gonna be a white, would that make sense? Let me see. Let, let's ungroup this. Because, Oh, okay. So, so here's the white. Like, I was wondering like what I'm, how, how this is going to work. So basically these are nice big pieces, which I love. Yeah. So this will be great. This will make it so much easier. Our lollipop's going to go up here. And because this is empty space right here, we'll just tie the, the little string around it. We don't even need to add little holes in, in here. Um, we'll just tie a little knot there to tie the um to keep your lollipop uh stable <laughs> that's what i'm trying to say all right let's um you know what we'll just do i'm gonna i'm gonna get rid of this one we're gonna do just one boba um one boba container okay so this is about five inches um and we can you know what we can keep it the lollipop that I have been using, they're about four inches, 4.25 inches. So the lollipop stick will be behind here and will be completely enclosed right here. So I'm wondering if let's make this, um, you know, cause everything's kind of, we don't have any small pieces. So let's make this four inches. All right. And then what we're going to do is, uh, let's go to shapes and we'll grab this little square and let's unlock it um let's make this about let's make it one inch and that's going to be the bottom so if you look at this the little hello kitty there is a lollipop inside and this is the bottom that we're adding so that that way your lollipop has a place like it, it's just a, a great placeholder basically and we're going to wrap it up like this so the lollipop's gonna be in between 
and we're basically gonna fold up one boba on this side and another boba drink on this side so um, let's make this one inch and make it um, 1.25 inches long okay and I think that's gonna look really good right there in the middle and then what we'll do is we'll grab this whole thing and duplicate it and then we're gonna arrange or not arrange I'm sorry flip flip it vertically because we want it upside down and we're basically gonna attach it right here so now what we're gonna do is let's grab this whole thing and group it together and we'll grab this whole thing and group it together and the reason why I want to do that is I want to align all three items and we're going to align it and we're just going to center it horizontally. So it's going to be right in the middle, all even, so that when we fold this, it folds up and it meets each other. <laughs> okay, so now that we have all these pieces, what you want to do then is our most back piece is the white piece, right? So I'm going to grab the white and let's grab, hit the shift key, grab this white. So we've we've grabbed both whites and the square and we're going to weld it together that's going to be our backmost piece that folds up together and that is white so let me go and change it to white and we will arrange it and send it to the back so we've got our boba drink if you can um, picture this the two that white square right there is where our lollipop's going to sit and then we're going to fold up our two boba sides and then we're going to tie a string right here in between the straw like there's holes right here and it's all going to make sense so this is so stinking cute but what i love about this design for lollipop holders is that it makes it very stable so if you can see right here it's sitting on top of my hand and it's not wobbly it will you can display it so if it's for a party um like a birthday party in there the birthday party favors you can line these up 20 of them and they'll look stinking adorable um because they're kind of small and just super cute and super stable so that's what i love about it the other thing is most of the ones that we see they usually the lollipops this way because we're holding the stick and then through here there's a cutout for the belly like it's a pumpkin with the cutout in the middle for the lollipop this one it doesn't interfere with the image at all. So you're gonna have a fully cute SVG file that you're gonna cut out in paper. And so it's gonna look exactly like what you think it is and just a ton of them. It'll be really, really cute. So, all right, I'm gonna go cut this. Hopefully you don't have any questions, but if you do, please post them below. Comments, questions, whatever it is. And I am gonna cut this and then I'm gonna put it together and see you in the assembly portion. So. Just to recap, this can be for any image, which is why it's one of my favorite designs, because you just need to make a duplicate copy, attach the middle to the two sides, and then you want to reverse or you want to flip the, the image so that they both fold up together. All right. Once you do one, you're absolutely going to love it. The ones that I've done so far is The Ghost, which is also on Barely Art, um, the Barely Art website. It's a free file. So look how cute that is. And then the other one that I did is the, um, the Hello Kitty one, the mummy. Oh, no, it's just so stinking cute. So, all right. I will see you then. All right. Bye, guys.